Hello and welcome to another update video and tutorial about Bybit. In this video, I want to talk about how you can actually withdraw cryptocurrencies from Bybit. And it is a very, very similar process across different exchanges. Um, here in this video, I'm focusing on Bybit just to show it to you. And what I want to do in this video, I want to move some USDT. Uh, it could be any other cryptocurrency. I would like to move some USDT from Bybit to KuCoin just to show you, right? Um, and the process is the same even if I want to move the USDT or cryptocurrencies over to my hardware wallet or my software wallet. It doesn't really matter, but there are a few things you need to watch out for and we're going to talk about that. So first of all, very straightforward um, here on Bybit. First of all, in order to move something away from the exchange, I need to have some assets on the exchange, right? So I go to assets, um, I see my asset overview here on Bybit and I go to withdraw. So I click on withdraw. And uh, in this case, you can only really withdraw uh, from your spot account. So I go to withdraw on spot. And then I can see, do I want to do an internal transfer? Yeah, or do I want to do an on-chain on chain withdrawal? But in this case, I want to, I don't want to do an internal transfer on Bybit. I want to withdraw on-chain to another wallet. Yeah, so I'll do that. And in this case, obviously I don't have any BTC. You see your available amount here, but I do have some USDT. So I'll click on USDT. You can see the amount here. Um, I have the possibility now to enter a wallet address. I have to select a chain type and the amount, and then I click on submit. So what do I want to do? First of all, I need to go to the wallet that I want to send it to. And again, that could be your hardware wallet. It could be a software wallet, or it could be another exchange, or it could just be the wallet of a person that you want to send it to. Now, in this case, just for the demonstration purposes, I'm going to send one USDT uh, if it works, actually. No, uh, two, no, one, one, yeah, let's see. Um, I'm going to send one USDT over to KuCoin. So I go to KuCoin now. Yeah, this is the KuCoin dashboard. Here I went on to deposit, yeah, because I withdraw from Bybit. I want to deposit on KuCoin. It's basically all I need from, from KuCoin is the network and the address. So first of all, here I select the currency. It is USDT. I select the network. I can select here all of these networks. So what I need to do, I need to check which network is also available on Bybit. Now, in this case, I'm going to use the TRX network, Tron, TRX, TRC20, and it gives me an address down here. So with this address, which I now copy, I go back to Bybit. Obviously, you need to check if they also have the TRC20 network. So I have copied in this address now um, into the address field here on Bybit. And I can see on the chain type, they do offer the TRC20 network. It's 0.3 USDT is the cost. Um, the good thing is the fee won't change. Even if I um, transfer 100 or 200 or 300 USDT, uh, I don't really want to transfer anything. So I just transfer a, a small amount just to show it to you. And um, basically I click submit. That's it. Let me just double check that USDT. I've got the wallet address, chain type, and I click submit. It's less than, okay, so probably I'm, I may need to go high with five. Let's see. Okay, I don't know what is the minimum amount. You know what? Well, I don't care really. I, I submit, uh, I, I, I sent now 100. Let's see, that works. So see, I confirm to withdraw and I click submit. So I had to go through a security uh, step now, which is obviously recommended that you add that to your um, Bybit account as well. So 2FA and Google Auth or whatever you can you can select there. Um, I have now submitted this uh, withdrawal application and in a few minutes, 100 USDT, obviously minus the transaction fee, should arrive on KuCoin. Okay, so I'm back on KuCoin. You can see here now the 100 USDT have turned up in my main account, so it's all sorted. Few things to note, um, the transaction fee did come off the Bybit wallet so i received really the 100 usdt not minus the transaction fee that came off my bybit account um and also i didn't realize actually but it actually said in the window when i made the transaction that the minimum usdt amount to send is 10 usdt so i could have just sent 10 but it doesn't matter um 100 usdt on kucoin are fine as well and that is how you do it and um 
If I wanted to send them back, I'll do it the exactly same way, just the other way around basically. So I go to withdraw on KuCoin and deposit on Bybit. Um, and that is how it works. So hopefully you like the tutorial. Um, if you like to support the channel, then you can use the Bybit affiliate link that I've posted in the video description. Um, with that, you can support the channel and also sometimes they offer a bonus or benefits for anybody who signs up. Now these campaigns can change from time to time. So best you can check if you click on the link. So yeah, and besides that, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye bye.